Hello everyone and welcome to another video review from 3dgameman.com. I'm Rodney Reynolds and today I'm having a look at a couple of nifty devices from Kingston. It is their Wireless G3 and Wireless Pro. Now these are essentially wireless card readers or wireless storage devices, but they have rechargeable batteries so you can use them to charge your devices, like for example, your smartphone, which is just awesome. Now the G3 here is white and the Pro is black. The only real difference between them, honestly, is that the Pro comes with 64 gigabytes of onboard memory and the Pro also has a larger battery. The packaging for each is quite nice, detailing the important information on it. Included in both is the main unit, which by the way has a piece of plastic on the top to protect the shiny surface, a quick start guide, a micro USB cable, and a micro SD adapter. Now the inputs for storage is USB and SD. It reads SD, SDHC, SDXC, micro SD, micro SDHC, as well as micro SDXC with, of course, the included adapter. Now, the supported file system is either FAT, FAT32, NTFS, or extended FAT. The overall dimension on this is 115 by 80 by 24 millimeters, and the weight's going to vary. The G3, which is this one, is a little bit lighter at 192 grams, and the Pro is a little bit heavier at 194 grams. Now, it has very comprehensive wireless network support because it can do 2.4 gigahertz 802.11 B, G, and N, as well as 5 gigahertz 802.11 AC. Plus, it comes with a wired LAN port to function as an access point. Now, these have rechargeable batteries, but you're probably wondering, well, how do you actually charge the battery because they don't include a power adapter in the box? Well, that is correct, but most of us have USB power adapters kicking around, and then you would just use the included micro USB cable. Now, the G3 has a smaller battery than the Pro, and let's go through the details on that. It will give you the G3 around 11 hours of continuous use. It has a built-in lithium-ion 5,400 milliamp hour battery, which has a maximum output of around 2 amps, 3.7 volts, by the way. The Pro will give you around 12 hours of continuous use. It has a built-in 6,700 milliamp hour battery, 3.6 volt, again, 2 amp output on that. And that's fantastic because it will charge your device rapidly. By the way, it is compatible with just about, you know, any iPad, iPhone, Fire, Fire HD, as well as Android device. And by the way, the operating temperature on this is 0 to 35 degrees Celsius, and the storage temperature is from 0 to 45 degrees Celsius, and it comes with a two-year warranty. Now, the overall look, styling, and build quality on both of these is really good. You've got a glossy top, which is not a big deal to be honest on the white one, but the black one, you will see fingerprints and dust really easily. On the top here, you have their logo, as well as status LEDs on the front, a power button, reset button, the micro USB port, a regular USB port on this side. This is for storage, more storage here with an S. The slot on the right side is a wired LAN connection and on the bottom information stickers. Connecting to the wireless G and the wireless Pro is a simple procedure. First of all, go ahead and turn the unit on by pressing the power button for three seconds. It'll take 10 or 20 seconds for it to fully load up. Once that's done, connect the storage, whether it be a thumb drive or a USB drive or an SD card. Then on your device, go into Wi-Fi and select either the 2.4 gigahertz network or the 5 gigahertz network. Then load the Mobile Lite app. And I have to say, this is a very comprehensive app. So I can explore what's on this USB thumb drive. I've dumped a few photos which you can go through. You can edit these, share them, delete them. I've also dropped a couple of videos here. Let's go ahead and play one of them. Hello everyone and welcome to another video review from 3 dgameman.com. Pretty quick, right? Let's go back to home. And also you've got an option here of dumping the pictures that are on the device, the camera roll, 
You can do a backup and restore option of the pictures that's again on the device, your contacts and your calendars. Now I wanted to just touch upon settings here. This is the actual settings for the device, the wireless setup. This is the SSID for the 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz networks. You can change those. You can also choose to have a password. You can also connect the device to your wireless network. You can see here that I have it connected to my 2.4 gigahertz wireless network, but you can choose from the others that you might have in your particular area. So if you're at home or at work, you can connect the unit there if you want to. Pretty darn cool. Let's go back here. App setup, cache information here, which you can clear, back up and restore. The camera roll, you can have it automatically back up. Contacts as well, automatically back up. Calendar, again, have it automatically back up. And you've got information here about the firmware, the app version. Now within storage information, it will show you the details about whatever storage that you have attached. Like for example, I have a thumb drive attached. And since this is the pro version, it will show you information about the internal memory. So basically you can use these to transmit data back and forth from what Ever kind of device that you like. Whether you connect a thumb drive or USB drive or an SD card in that, you can grab all the information that's on it, whether it be documents, movies, music, and whatnot. And you can do the same thing the other way, right? You can take information off, for example, a smartphone like photos and dump it on here. Now, since this is two amps, it will charge devices rather rapidly, but of course it will vary. It depends on the device's battery size. This is really the best of both worlds. If you're looking for a wireless card reader or a wireless storage device, plus a charger all in one unit. And you've got the option here of going with a cheaper version. If you don't want to spend the extra money, you won't get the memory though, nor will you get the larger battery, but still both of these devices are capable cast. Until next time, take care. Well, that's it, but I hope you enjoyed the review. And if you think this and other videos that I produce are great, please like them, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also, your comments are very welcome. And if you have any questions, let me know.